Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. I have it back with us. The weekend's shaping up to be pretty nice, huh? Oh, absolutely. Both weekend days, I think, will be looking uh -huh. good. And we have so much going on this weekend here. Low 80s uh, with a wind off the northeast. Uh, guys, about 15 to 20 miles, gusting a little bit over 20 at times. But uh, next weather radar network and the uh, cloud cover here, it's hard to come by. There's just not much uh, with high pressure still in charge. We've got this lobe of dry air that's worked its way down. That's helped the humidity as well. And for now, we're still going to be high and dry. Area of high pressure, strong one northeast of us. And then we're going to have a frontal boundary that comes in. It could be a weak one, but uh, it's going to start creating wind for us here beginning Sunday and particularly heading into early next week. But uh, just some isolated rain showers, I think, for Saturday. A little boundary comes in. That'll lower our humidity coming up for Sunday. It's going to be a nice day, but I think we'll have a lot of clouds that are going to be streaming in from the southwest uh, from the uh, Gulf here, but not clouds that uh, will rain on us here. That'll just be high clouds filtering the sun. And then uh, we have another boundary comes in next week. That is uh, what's going to make for the wind coming back. We'll have to switch that breezy to windy by the middle part of the week with uh, some wind gusts uh, pushing 30. Next weather rain tracker for the rest of tonight looking good if you're stepping out and then for tomorrow on Saturday just a couple of uh, morning showers here. Those will continue to kind of weaken. It's just not much there. There's just not much moisture available and then for Sunday less coverage even less so than tomorrow 10% but you notice a lot of cloud cover there so that's going to be with us throughout the day and uh, tracking the tropics let's see what we have here nothing frontal boundaries in the Atlantic you like to see that it's that time of year but it's also the time of year where we can you know pay attention to the Caribbean and the Gulf right now we still have a medium chance of development this is for the first weekend at November but the trends so far the European has been solid with no development here and now the GFS has come down dramatically as far as what can develop in the Western Caribbean. So that's something we'll look for. But uh, the trends I like rip currents high tomorrow. If you're making it a beach day with northeast winds around 50 miles an hour, it's going to be 10 to 15 and it'll be gusty to 20 knots. So moderate chop conditions for the Atlantic waters and downright choppy near shore for the Florida Keys with that small craft. A caution will get advisories beginning at next week as the winds start picking up rain chances 20% for tomorrow, even lower on Sunday. Remember a lot more cloud cover on Sunday. We'll have uh, coverage down to about 10 percent and then for Saturday we'll have uh, temperatures in the mid 80s so if you're going to be headed out wow look at these colors there I wonder who picked those at Hard Rock Stadium there seven o'clock with temperatures in the 80s not a bad looking setup here and then for Sunday of course if you're headed out to the big game that kickoff is at one o'clock and that is looking great as well with Arizona in town and temperatures back into the lower 80s and uh, as far as the Halloween forecast that is looking great I'll take a look at that but it's just a slight chance of a shower so we'll put in a few spooky showers I think very little in the way of rainfall so I don't think it's going to be a big deal creepy clouds and it will be wickedly windy coming up for Thursday evening so there you go that's your next weather seven day